I made you a gift and I'm wondering if you're going to enjoy it. So. A round of applause for Chloe Tantua. There was no better way of letting you see tomorrow than through the voice of a four-year-old. I will not be in this world forever. Like my father, I will go and meet him. He met his father. But before I go, what kind of environment am I living for tomorrow? The future, our children. I'm using my daughter as an example, but there are so many other children in this world. We need to give them clean, healthy environment. It's very important that we start seeing things this way. My daughter watches every move I make, everything I do, imitating, copying from character, my drawings, paintings, whatever. And I want to set a good example. If she decides she wants to be an artist, well, the foundation is there. So I created this video for you to see our tomorrow. It's important that we keep the environment safe, pure, and healthy for our children and for tomorrow. What better way, being an artist, to show you the different ways artists have been able to preserve tomorrow, that it will be beautiful 
for our children have come up with many interesting ways to do these things. Like I said, I translate myself, and that was not my saying. It was Kofi Sechoji. He said, an artist can translate himself from being, from being a painter, sculptor, whatever. And he goes to say, we need to learn to change ourselves from time to time because we are gifted and created in that way. I became a photographer. Not that I'm a professional photographer. I became a painter. That's what I do. I went into sculpting. I danced for you, didn't I? I created a video for you. Graphic design, whatever. If the money writes, sometimes I could do one more. Well, different artists have come up with different things. And we have Amankai, Amafrai, who says, all cities, all cultures, all civilization came about through the artist who was able to articulate the dreams and aspiration of his people. So without the artist, there will be a lot of things going wrong. He says, we are dreamers, philosophers, thinkers. We are gods. Gods in the sense that we are creators and makers of things. We need to start liberating ourselves from, I'm a painter, I'm a sculptor. These are little fragments of what art is. That means you can be more than a painter and a sculptor. When you interact with an artist, you realize that artists are deep and profound people, he says. Whether that is true, you will decide when you interact with an artist. I've done nothing else. I don't know how to do anything else but draw, paint, sculpt, dance, sing. If you pay me well, I'll do any other thing. Roll over, maybe. The focus more is no more on creating beautiful pictures and put them in galleries for sale. Artists have now created a new, whole new level of what art should be. Because we are all trying to save this environment in one way or the other. I will cite examples from my own private collection. I have a space where I collect art from different artists. Besides being an artist, I collect art as well. This, this charcoal work. work. This is by Edosa Oguego. Charcoal. We have students over there. When you say charcoal, yes, you have refined charcoal. But you also have charcoal for cooking. And you can actually use that to draw. The next artist. Tolawewe, which you can see there. Tolawewe created this with sand. We've talked about charcoal, we talk about sand. Now we have Uche Joel Chima, who created with ropes. That work is all created with ropes. The next work is by Kolade Oshinawa. This is by, you know, he goes to all these tailors and off cut of materials, he, he gets them and creates them into his art. He glues them on his canvas and makes his painting. He's one of the most expensive artists we have in Nigeria. That painting is three million naira and I own it. Let's keep going. Olomide Onapedu. He creates his work with waterproof. 
when you buy pepper, salt, whatever in the market, and they put inside waterproof. In fact, any supermarket you go, they'll put it in a nylon bag. Then you now take it home. When you finish, you trash it. Some, they throw it anyhow. When it is raining, they wait. That's the best time to throw dirty. Dirty. They call it dirty. They wait for the rain and the floods. Then they throw all their trash in it. Is that helping the environment? No. So they now use this to create art. You see how artists are actually helping our environment. We'll get a little bit more complex. The next one is Fidelis Odogu. Bottle tops. Bottle tops, corks, screws and all. That's my breakfast bar made from bottle tops. That's, you see, Coke Fanta Sprite. The next is soda cans by Philips. Philips uses these cans and creates all sorts of things, not just the skull, different kinds of art. We are recycling, but we now call it upcycle. Olua Moda. When builders are building and they have nails all scattered on the ground, if you drive your car over it, you know that you're going to puncture your tire. Now, he gets all these nails and creates his art. This is a small one. He's so expensive, I couldn't get his work, but I got a small miniature. Now you see that work. There are horses made from nails, found nails. Every artist you see I have shown as an example is very important to us in Nigeria. I'm working on a book on artists and studios in different parts of the world. In, not differently, let's say I started with Ghana and Nigeria. Next is Collings. Collings uses spoons, fork, knife, cutlery to create his art. That work is about uh, three feet plus, and it's all made with a thousand two something spoons to make that peacock. We'll see another one from Collings. This is chains, and what you find is about five feet tall and wide. Chains and chains and chains to create a Bob Marley head. How far are people going to think when it comes to art? Next is Dotu Pupola. Dotu Pupola recently visited me in Port Harcourt. This was the first dog he made. He's become so famous. They've been calling him for different things all around just because of his ability to use scrap metal. There's spark plugs, there's brake pads. If you go to the mechanic shops, you see them scattered all over. Ha, ah, art is helping. You're seeing it. The next one is Adiola Balogo. Adiola Balogo uses scrap metals and yet tires. Tire. This is made by Ernest. When you look at the tires, it's all causing pollution in our environment. We burn them and all that. If you go under the park, the flyover, there's one place, it's heaped with tires. That space where you have the tires, when you think about all these artists, you realize that they can actually change that place into a park where you have all sorts of things, where people can enjoy themselves. Now, let's look at my own work. The TV panels I've started using to make my own art. I put flat screen TVs together to create that. When you buy your flat screen TV, if it gets bad, the screen is half the price of the TV. So why not you get a new one? This is what I do. Cutting cars into furniture. A Jaguar bed I made. A fluorescent bed I made for my daughter. Then my living room. All these are made with scrap cars and other things you can find. So this is how we enjoy ourselves in the garden. 
I want her to always remember that beautiful earth which we leave behind for them. I'll dash you one more video as I leave. So I'm enjoying myself having a drink in my chair. Your scrap, Allow me to flex. saving the environment in my own way. Thank you for listening. <laughs>